Hey everybody, welcome back to Texas Breaks. Today we are going to be opening up a box of 1986 Tops uh, Wax Packs. Um, been looking forward to this one. I've never opened a box of 86 Tops. I love the design. Uh, it's very nostalgic. It's just a great recognizable baseball card from my past. Um, not a huge amount of value to it, but just love the the names that come out of there. Uh, as far as rookie cards, there are very few notable rookie cards. You have uh, Cecil Fielder. Uh, I think Harold Reynolds and Ozzy Guillen are in there, and maybe Lenny Dykstra. Pretty sure that's Dykstra's rookie card. Um, but looking forward to it. There's some good first year, second year uh, second year, third year guys, um, and some all-time Hall of Famers, as you can see on the cover, Pete Rose. But let's get into it. Uh, we'll have some nice gum stains on the back sides or the front, I guess, on these. Yeah, it seem to be on the front. Hopefully they're in... The cards are in good shape, other than the the gum card. So on the back we have our box cards. George Bell, Wade Boggs, George Brett, and Vince Coleman. Let's get into it. Eighty six. I had just started getting into baseball. Hardcore. You know, obviously, an Astros fan, but I didn't really collect cards at this time. But I was very into baseball starting this year. So the year the Astros went to the playoffs, lost to the eventual. Champs, the Mets, to a rookie in this set, Lenny Dykstra, hit a huge home run for them. It's a Royals leader card. Mark Clear, Alejandro Pena, Brian Downing. Here is the Pete Rose. There's a couple of Pete Rose insert cards in here. That's one that has his rookie card in it on the cover. Looks like a little stain on the on the side. Mark Davis. And this was the gum card. See a little bit of it. But Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. It's like a little rub mark right here. Larry Hoyt, Rangers leader. C. Balboni. There's a Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. I'll show you the back of the cards. Cards seem to be in really good shape. Paul Householder. '86 was also the year the All-Star Game was at the Astrodome. Uh, I did not attend that game, but I did watch it on TV because it was here locally, and that was real exciting. Roger Clemens was the starting pitcher for the American League, who's a Houston guy. Keith Hernandez, Cardinals leader, Davey Lopes, Alvin Davis, Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer, White Sox leader, Dan Gladden, it's our Spring Fever baseball, won a trip to the 86 All-Star Game, Bill Madlock, Sparky Anderson, 
Dwight Evans, slugger for the Red Sox for a while. Je Mike Jeffcoat and Hall of Famer George Brett. And it looks like Willie Randolph gets the gum on this one. And there's our bottom of the box guy, George Bell. Jackie Gutierrez, Juan Renicky, Lynn Barber. Bill Kruger, Spike Owen. Herm Winningham, Jeff Dedman, Dave Dravecki, Bobby Meacham, and Rafael Santana. Not a huge fan of every other card turned upside down. Tom Lawless gets the gum. All right, so we get a turn back the clock card. Tom Seaver. Dave Palmer, Ron Oster, Sammy Stewart, Jeffrey Leonard, Terry Kennedy, Doug DeCensis, Dennis Lamp, George Hendrick, Nate Snell, Craig Gerber, Enos Cabell, Ex-Astro, Steve Trout, no relation to Mike, Don Robinson and the gum card Tom Wallace. So for me, my chase cards in this set are one, the Pete Rose. Huge Pete Rose fan. Uh, and Nolan Ryan. Those are the two. If I can get those two cards, I'll be very happy. In good shape, obviously. Gary Maddox. Paul Runge. Hojo Howard Johnson. Moose Haas. Kirk Gibson. couple years before he went to the Dodgers and had that huge home run in the World Series. Well, Roger McDowell wants to stay stuck there. There you go. Bill Swift, Rick Langford, John Shelby, Jeff Zahn, and Joel Youngblood. And the gum card, Tim Lawler. Got a Pat Tabler, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, Ron Washington. There's another one of the Pete Rose inserts. Joel Skinner, Steve McCaddy, Ernie Camacho, the Speedy Vince Coleman, Don Sutton. Our gum card. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Very nice. Alan Ashby, Frank White, Dwayne Murphy, Jimmy Key, and Dave Rigetti. First card, Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball. Dad, I'm, I'm going to drive truck. Well, that 
Mickey Hatcher. There's Ozzie Guillen rookie card. There's Ricky Henderson right afterwards. Nice pack right here. Mike Smithson, Chris Spire, Bill Gullickson. There's a Daryl Strawberry. Very nice. Dick Hauser, Nelson Simmons, Donnie Scott, Scott Thompson, Twins leader, Darnell Coles, and a Daryl Sconiers. All right. Harold Baines. There we go. Mike Heath. And then there's our Pete Rose. Very nice. And if you look... He's listed as a first baseman and manager. Should be in the Hall of Fame. I understand what he did, but his numbers indicate that he is one of the best players ever to play baseball. Not even close. Top five. And he should be in the Hall of Fame. Frank Viola. Frank Tanana. Greg Gagne, there's Eric Davis, he's one of my favorite players, Jose Uribe, and Jose Rijo. To me, Pete Rose's problem and the reason why he's not in the Hall of Fame is he didn't come out and admit to what he did and apologize. I think if he would have done that, he would have been forgiven over time, and I think he'd be in the hall by now. I think the fact that he denied, 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 and then when he would get caught, he would just change the story up a little bit, and he just kept getting caught in lies after lies after lies after lies until eventually they even had a, a phone conversation recording of him. But I think that's why he's not in, is he just – Tried everything he could to deny it and hope that it was pass over. It was Doc Gooden. That all of his lies have kept him out. And it's a shame because he deserves to be in. But there's a lesson to you kids. Tell the truth. It'll hurt. But you can get past it if you tell the truth. If you lie. That's an example of what can happen to you. Steve Ontiveros, Ron Kittle, Frank Williams, Pasquale Perez, Jeff Calhoun, and hiding behind Mr. Perez, Ron Gardenhire. All right, we're a quarter of the way through. There are a ton of packs in this box. So on to stack two. Looking for more Pete Roses, Nolan Ryan, the rookies, Dykstra, Kevin Mitchell. So we found the Gian and Harold Reynolds. Looking for those. Dan Ford, Lance Parrish. Bruce Bocci, Ray Fontenot, John Stuper, Joe Carter, rocking the Jerry Curl, Craig Nettles, there's a Dwight Gooden All Star. There's a tragic story right there. Dwight Gooden had the stuff to be an all time great and just couldn't stay off the drugs. It's a shame. He had so much talent. He and Daryl Strawberry could have been Hall of Famers for sure. Carlton Fisk All-Star. 
And there's 85 record breaker, Dwight Gooden. It's many life lessons in baseball, kids. Tell the truth. Don't do drugs. Hit the baseball a long way. Do those three things, you'll be a Hall of Famer. All right. Charlie Liebrandt, Rob Piccolo, Steve Kemp, Dave Stapleton, George Orta, Ozzie Virgil, Rich Bordy, Bill Russell, Marty Barrett, say Don Mattingly, All Star. Looks like a little. Maybe a little bit of black robe on part of it. Hal McCray, R.J. Reynolds, Phillies leader, Glenn Cook, and Bruce Hurst. All right. Larry Herndon, Kent Colvey. Orioles leader, Ray Burris, Ben Ogilvy, Ricky Henderson, All-Star. Turn back the clock, Willie Mays. Bobby Wine, Charles Hudson, Dave LaPointe, Raleigh Fingers. Doug Flynn, Gene Mauch, Gary Redis, and Alejandro Sanchez. Mel Hall. Every time I see his card, a Mel Hall card, I always think of Mel Hall from uh, This Week in Baseball. Gerald Perry, Glenn Hoffman, so Ozzie Smith, all-star card. These cards are in really good shape. I'm very pleased with the quality of these. Rusty Staub, Dan Pasqua, Daryl Porter, Steve Lake, Ray Knight, Clint Hurdle and Denny Walling. I guess one of the good thing about the old wax packs, when you have a set like the 86 tops, where there's no real high value cards in them, you're pretty much guaranteed that they're not searched through, which is good. Because I always worry about that buying a wax box of like 82 or even 87, 85, any of those. That they're going to be, you have to spend the extra hundred and something dollars to get a BBCE certified box. Whereas these, you're pretty much going to get an unsearched box almost every time just because there's not a lot of value as far as monetary value but for the nostalgic collector like myself there's a ton of value in these cards Glenn Brummer and a Manny Lee you get kind of spoiled opening up the the newer sets where you have auto potential and relic potential and rare inserts and numbered cards and parallels and super fractors and rookie special cards. And here with these old sets, you have your base card. You'll have a small little insert like here, the, the Pete Rose, where it's just one player that 
They've added a few cards, the turn back the clocks. And that's it. The rookies aren't even labeled. You just have to know who they are. And you can pass them up if you're not paying too much attention. But it's just very basic and... I don't know. Just something about it. I enjoy these cards. These are my favorite. Not just the 86, but just this era in general. Roy Thomas, Bill Buckner. Indians leader, Darren Dalton. Kurt Young, Tim Burke. And Red Sox leader. Leave a comment. Let me know. What's your favorite era of baseball cards? Is it the older junk wax era? Is it the vintage? Is it the newer stuff? What do you guys like to see? What do you prefer to buy if you had the money? Tony Pena, Ron Robinson, Wayne Gross, Carl Best, Tom Stoddard, Lonnie Smith. Mark Thurman, Mike Moore. There's a Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Starting to get a little concerned. We hadn't hit really any good na names. And there is the Pete Rose manager card. The other one was an action card, and it said first base and manager. That is just the manager card. Ooh. There's a turn back the clock card that has gum stains, and it's, of course it's a Roger Maris. That sucks. All right. Hubie Brooks, Rich Hebner, Dave Bergman, Sean Raleigh, Ken Obertfell. Willie Upshaw, Rance Mullikins, Jamie Kokenauer. Interesting. Cubs leaders, Lee Smith, Lynn Matusik, Joe Beckworth, Bruce Kozen, Al Jones, and a Pete Vukovic, who looks like he should have been in the old WWF. All right. Last card of the first half of the box. Oh. Rich Gedman. With the stain. I was going to say, it's pretty funny to me. <laughs> the wax packs that I open that have the, the bubble gum in it, I get a ton of Rich Gedmans with the gum stains. I don't know if for some reason he just always ended up in the back of packs or front of packs, depending on what it is, but I've had a ton of Rich Gedmans for some reason. George Foster, Larry Anderson. Best known for being traded from the Astros to the Red Sox for a slappy hitter named Jeff Bagwell. Gary Pettis, Lee Mazzelli, Gary Templeton, Bob McClure, Steve Sachs, Rob Wolfong, and a Bill Caudill. Gum came off of there, and I don't even see any residue. It's Kurt McCaskill. Could have been a better name, but still, very nice. All right. Steve Mur Mura, Johnny LaMaster, Jerry Reed, Jim Batty, Burt Blylovin, Expo's leader. 
Andre Dawson, Kurt McCaskill, Mike Mason, Ken LaDrew, Tim Tuffle, Butch Wagner, Mark Salas, Lou Thornton, Luis Aguayo, and a Bud Black. Oh, that was a one-time thing. There we go. Actually, it's not bad. This box, I'm really, really pleased with this box, the condition of this box. There's an Oral Hershizer. Looking all country and goofy. <laughs> Larry Parrish. Donnie Moore. Tom Bosley. Gary Lucas. Bob Nepper. Jack Clark. Glenn Hubbard. Alejandro Pena, Brian Downing. There's that same Pete Rose insert with his rookie card on it. Mark Davis, Tom Needenfewer. There's another Mike Schmidt. That one does not have the gum stain, so I'll hold on to that one. And the Giants leader. All right, Domingo Ramos, Denny Martinez, and the Orioles, Toby Hurrah, Andy Dawkins, Andy Hawkins, Scott Fletcher, Rick Dempsey, Randy O'Neill, Chris Chambliss, Mike Jorgensen, Sparky Anderson, Dwight Evans, A's leader, Mike Jeffcoat, George Brett again, and a Mark Clear. Don Slot. There's Scrap Iron, Phil Garner, Jim Pankovitz, Lynn Sakata. There is Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn. Roy Smalley, Tom Bernanski. There's Jab's favorite player, Andy Van Slyke on the Cardinals. Jackie Gutierrez, Ron Kirk, Ron Renicky, Rennick, Walt Terrell, Lynn Barker, Bill Kruger, Willie Randolph, and Bill Matlock. Oh, that didn't sound good. Dickie Knowles, Alan Bannister, and there's someone stuck behind Mr. Bannister. Nope. Terry Pendleton, Jim Sunberg, Doug Corbett, Tim Laudner, Juan Samuel, Ricky Lin Linsander, Nate Snell, Craig Gerber, Enos Cabell, Steve Trout, Don Robinson, Tom Lawless, and George Bell. Still no Cecil Fielder. And no Nolan Ryan. Steve Garvey. Ron Davis. Rob Deere. Mark Bailey. There's Wizard. Ozzy Smith. John Felsky. Larry Hoyt, Scott Geraltz, Daryl Miller, Earl Weaver, Mike Lacoste, Joel Youngblood, Tim Lawler, and George Hendrick. Daryl Thomas, Al Bumbry, Ron Say, Al Nipper, Terry Leach, Juan Augusto, Bill Schurer, Rick Reschel, Pudge, Carlton Fisk, 
Andre Thornton, Jerry Mumphrey, Bruce Bochy, Kent Herbeck, Steve Bedrosian, and Glenn Wilson. There's Hall of Famer Rock Reigns. Rick Aguilera. Pete Ladd. Jerry Davis. Tim Wallach All-Star. Greg Brooker. John Denny. Mr. Surgery. Tommy John. Randy Hunt. Kevin Gross. Burt Hooten. Ken Daly. Garth Eorg. UL Washington. And Dan Quisenberry. There's one of the rookie cards with some wax staining on it. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit. Lenny Dykstra. Jody Davis. Rick Buck Martinez. Fernando Valenzuela, Jim Wolford, Frank DePino, all kinds of black marking all over it. Barry Bonnell, Ed Romero. There's another one of the Pete Rose inserts, <clears throat> a different one than what we have. Bob Shirley, Jim Acker, Roy Lee Jackson, Daryl Motley, Dan Billiard, <clears throat> and a Bob James gum card. <clears throat> All right. We are now into the last stack of the box. Steve Balboni. It's Kirby Puckett. Rust in Peacer. <clears throat> Scott Sanderson. Keith Hernandez. Dave Lopes, Alvin Davis, Tom Foley, Jim Dwyer, Tim Tomlin, Jeff Burrows, Luis Sanchez, Donnie Hall, and a Doug Sisk. Urbano Lugo. There's Dennis Eckersley with the Cubs. <clears throat> Kurt Wardle, Floyd Bannister. Mario, Mario Ramirez. There's a John Tudor All-Star. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Steve Carlton. Hall of Famer. Dan Gladden. Not a Hall of Famer. Spike Owen. Herm Willingham. Jeff Dedman, Dave Dravecki, and Tigers Leaders. All right. Marty Bystrom, Hall of Famer Jim Rice. Tony Armas, 85 record breaker, Phil Necro, Scott Bradley, Jeff Reardon, Alan Wiggins, Baseball Fever, Mike Fitzgerald, Bobby Meacham, Rafael Santana. There's a Tom Seaver, Turn Back the Clock. I think we already had that one. Dave Palmer, Ron Oster, Sammy Stewart, and a Jeffrey Leonard. Six more packs to go. All right. Terry Kennedy. Jim Morrison. Tom Brookins. Dusty Baker. The new Astros manager who hasn't had an opportunity to manage yet. 
Record breaker, Pete Rose. Most hits in a lifetime. Which should mean Hall of Fame, but it is what it is. Floyd Yeomans, Jeff Stone, All-Star Damasco Garcia, Damaso Garcia, Tom Gorman, and Bruce Souter. Ron Darling, Jeff Reardon All-Star, Carlos Diaz, Jose De Leon, Daryl Boston. There's Dale Murphy. Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. Another Pete Rose insert. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Craig Reynolds. Rick Manning and a Tippy Martinez. It's Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, on the back. And a Pedro Guerrero gum card. Pedro had a really good career. Not Hall of Fame worthy, but had a really good career. Checklist Cal Ripken, All Star. Eric Shaw and a Dave Winfield, All Star. Milt Wilcox, there's Pedro. Terry Harper, Mark Langston, Danny Darwin, Dr. Death, Bob Brinley, Rick Mayer, Leon Durham, Greg Gross, and there's the Gary Carter. Three packs to go, guys. There's Wally Backman, Yvonne Calderon, Rafael Ramirez, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Bill Allman, Vance Law, there's the Barry Bonds impersonator, Johnny Ray, Rick Roden, Terry Francona, Dan Quisenberry, All-Star, Mike Easler, there's another... Pete Rose insert, Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer, George Brett, All-Star, and Aaron Reynolds. All right, Ron Guidry, All-Star, Brett Saberhagen. Dale Murphy, All-Star. There's the Harold Reynolds rookie card. Looking all angry for some reason. You just made it to the big leagues, buddy. Be happy. And now all he does is smile on MLB Network. Rick Waits. I do like him on MLB Network, though, by the way. Tom Herr. George Wright. Danny Cox, Phil Necro, Saul Butera, Bob Kearney, Chet Lemon, Eddie Milner, and a Tim Wallach. Last pack. Last pack to find Kevin Mitchell or the Nolan Ryan for myself. All right, here we go. Mike Pagliarulo, Julio Cruz, Bob Lillis, Bill Schroeder, Gary Gaetti, Jay Howe, John Franco, Mark Bruhard. There's a turn back the clock, Frank Robinson. It's nice. Dennis Rasmussen, Jack Howe. Gary Carter, All-Star, Checklist, Vince Coleman, 85, Record Breaker, and last, Chris Brown. All right, guys. Well, we didn't find the Kevin Mitchell rookie card or the 
the Nolan Ryan I was looking for, but we did find some really good Hall of Famers and the other rookie cards that are available. Uh, all in all, I'm pleased. It was a great trip back in uh, nostalgic lane. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can see when new content is added. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think about this this set? What do you think about this era of baseball cards? What's your favorite era? Just any kind of comments. I love reading the comments. They're a lot of fun. So thank you guys for joining, and we'll see you next time.